Jumping spiders have incredible vision. Let's find out just how good it is in this video. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Spoodopods. I am David, and today we are exploring jumping spider vision because of all the arachnids and all the bugs out there, jumping spiders have really excellent vision and almost singular in their sort of world. And I thought it'd be really good to do a quick five video exploring it. Now, if you want to see a longer video, I've linked a video in the description by Dr. Joe from Be Smart. He does it in a lot more length and depth, but I know some of you guys like shorter, quick fire ones, so that's my job here. Now, jumpy spiders have really exceptional vision. It's an evolutionary adaptation because it's really required for all the hunting they have to do, but as an invertebrate, they see amazingly. They can even see details on the moon. That's how good their vision is. And for a tiny critter to be able to do that, probably see the moon better than we can, I think that's singularly exceptional for a spider species. Now, jumping spiders have two primary eyes. You know, two big eyes they've got on the front of their head. Those are their primaries, and those are the ones that see all the detail. They're kind of like mini telescopes. They extend all the way back into their head, and they can be moved around and adjusted. And that's how they get their detail vision. They're constantly moving around, and they see these pinpoints of detail, which allows them to form a better picture. The all the other eyes they have around their head, the six secondary eyes, those are very reactive to motion and very motion sensitive, much like our peripheral vision, but they don't have much detail so as you can imagine they have this 360 sort of vision but most of it's only reactive to um, motion so say for example what bugs hopping behind them they will turn around and they'll use those primary eyes to get a detailed view of it is what it is similarly with frets and prey and that's how basically they see and it's just exceptional how they have these two amazingly very cute wide eyes that can see in so much detail and then this sort of like early warning system all around them as well now with these telescopic eyes, basically giant telescopes in their heads, they move the entire eye and they move it around to see snapshots of detail. And being able to do that lets them see in incredible detail from the front. Like I said, all around the sides, that's just um, motion sensing basically. And they use those big eyes to get the depth perception and get their detailed vision of what's a prey, what's a threat, etc. And it's a very good evolutionary adaptation that really helps them be perfectly adaptive for what they do. They need depth perception, they need detailed vision, especially in the sort of habitats they hunt in, because they're sort of semi-arboreal. They do go on the ground, but most of the time they'll live in branches, trees, etc., hunting for small insects. And this allows them to get the perception they need to jump precisely onto their prey, pinpoint it and take it down. Whereas another spider may not need that because they'll sit in their web and wait for it to come to them. I probably mentioned this as well, that their eyes are kind of shaped like telescopes, but they're tube shaped. And that's again, quite different to what we do with our own eyes. Our eyes are circular, theirs are tubes. Others have these giant ovals. If you looked at other types of insects, it's all very different. And because of this shape, again, they have that depth perception, which helps them see detail and also judge distances, which another insect may not be able to do quite as well. And very, very interesting, I think. And I shouldn't have called them an insect really, because they're arachnid but these common terms do get thrown around a lot, so apologies there for anyone watching this video thinking, oh, that's a big boo-boo. So just keep in mind, next time you see a jumping spider, how much hard, great technology is in that head and in those eyes. They're not just a cute face, they can see very well, and they will react to you if you're moving around around them, purely because they've got a great motion sensing apparatus all around them, and these beautiful detailed eyes. If you want to learn more about them, I have a fun facts video, which you can explore here, but in the meantime, take care and see you later.